Hello everyone, this is Kalimara here, and no, it's not Calamari. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to the pond, go ahead and take a dive. You might like it here. A while ago, you guys might have noticed if you follow me on my Instagram that I posted a little ask me anything on my Instagram story. And if you happen to catch it and ask me a question, that's what I will be doing today, as well as um, finally opening this thing it's my silver play button it arrived like a long time ago but oh I sh that had my <laughs> that had my address on it okay my silver play button which arrived a while ago i've planned to do the unboxing in a video but baldur's gate 3 happened and that was that you know but i i think i'm back on track now so i'm just trying to get through the things I have to do and things I, I wanted to do. Like, it's not like anybody's forcing me to do this. This is something that purely I planned to do by myself because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> so I'll be doing this. And also I have another bigger box that I am also gonna be unboxing today from a sponsor, which I will be talking about later. Um, but it's gonna be fun. You guys are gonna love it. So. First things first, I should have prepared my X-Acto knife to open this with. So be right back. While I'm unboxing, I figure it might be fun for me to answer some questions that you guys sent to me on Instagram. Hey, follow me on Instagram. And if you want, follow my other account. I have a cosplay account and I have a private account where I, I just post pictures of myself and what I'm up to, I guess if you want to do that <laughs> or whatever. Oh, I only have one hand because I'm holding my orb, my microphone orb. <laughs> Let's start with the first question, which was if your ch Oh my God, so many interruptions. If your channel wasn't an art channel, what would it be? Um, so this is an easy question for me because I've always, well, I like singing. And the first channel I ever attempted was actually like a, a song cover channel. So if if this wasn't an art channel, it'd probably just be like a, a song cover channel, honestly, like like a music channel or something. But I don't know if I, I <laughs> my singing is really all that good yet. I feel like I still have a long way to go in terms of technique and uh, control but uh, I, I enjoy it I enjoy singing and it's something that I've always done since I was a kid my whole family is like really into music and art so that's kind of why but yeah if it wasn't an art channel it would probably be a, a music channel <laughs> Or like a vlog. I don't know if, if I would think that people would be interested in my life and what I have to say though. Or I guess, I don't know. I might even like swing to full on commentary. When I started my channel, it was less about art and kind of more about like art drama that was happening in like the art community. Uh, but I don't know. I was <laughs> doing that in like one of the most stressful periods of my life and just talking about drama all the time and constantly keeping up with new news was was really stressful and I, I couldn't cope with it at the time so I just thought okay um uh, I'll, I'll just do purely art because it's what I enjoy and it's much less stressful and I can kind of post um at my own pace instead of like just trying to keep up with everything that's happening so yeah i have um untaped the box stop showing the label <laughs> uh and now i'm gonna open it oh okay how do i okay i'm gonna change the camera angle a little bit please don't fall this tripod that my uh camera is on i if 
it fell once and like a part just snapped off i tried everything to put it back together like i tried hot glue but it's just it's just not sticking so um i'd really like not to drop my camera okay so <laughs> here it is i'm kind of nervous I mean, it should say my name. I typed it in. But what if I didn't type it in correctly? <gasps> a card! What is it? Okay, it says, Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take... <laughs> we are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspired and packaged with great care by Rick. Thank you, Rick. If your award was damaged during shipping, or if you have any con questions, please contact us at YouTube Creator at SocietyWords.com. Awesome! Thank you, Rick. Oh, I'm gonna have this framed. Dear, it just says dear. Dear, do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th or your 1,000th subscriber? I don't know if we can like. YouTube doesn't send us notifications for all the people that like subscribe to you. So, I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000 subscriber. I feel like um, YouTube kind of expects more from me than I'm capable of. <laughs> and look, if you are my 100th subscriber or my 1,000th subscriber or my 100,000th subscriber, you guys are awesome. And you know, comment down below if you are one of those three because I love you. <laughs> Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations! We know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know that we know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? Yours sincerely, Neil Mohan, YouTube CEO. I have uh, mixed feelings about, and we're here to support you along the way because um, it really, <laughs> I'll be honest, it really feels like YouTube doesn't really do enough to support you, especially when it comes to things like copyright and fair use, you know? But okay, YouTube, <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, put that aside over here. And here's my, whoa, <laughs> here's my plaque. That's so cool. How am I gonna, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my orb down and show you. So <laughs> here it is. Ah, ugh, smacked myself in the face there. They have hooks at the back to hang it up with, but um, I don't want to do that just yet. So uh, it's I'm just probably gonna take it out of the plastic. I'm kind of scared to take it out of the plastic. Look at this! It's too bright, you can't see it, but it's here. And I'm holding it all wrong. Uh, uh, I'll just, I'll put it right here for now. Ta-da! 
<laughs> well, I'm not gonna be sappy and be like, oh, this this is my dream because I've already been sappy in my face reveal video when I for my 100k special. So here it is. Uh, I'm so happy to have it. I I've been dying to just open. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> I hate that scratching noise. I've been dying to open it. Um, since I received it, but I told myself that I had to do it on video because I want to post it and I want to share this moment with you guys. So it's finally here. It's finally here. <laughs> How do I express emotion? I don't know. So let's just move on to the next question, shall we? Okay. If you could visit any con country, <laughs> any country you haven't been to before, where would you go? Hmm. Cuz I really like to go back to Japan, but I've already been to Japan, so I guess that doesn't count. So a country I haven't been to before. I think um I'd really like to go to Sweden or Switzerland. Because it looks really beautiful and apparently like the quality of life there is very good But I don't know if that's for everyone, you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't look a certain way, you might get treated differently uh, That's always kind of like a, a apprehension I have But hopefully it's just an apprehension and not really the reality But yeah, I'd really like to go to Sweden or Switzerland Next question If given the opportunity would you be interested being a comic or manga artist? I actually started off my art journey making comics. Like I, I took like this this little like course, not a course, but like I had someone tutor me to, to make comics. And that was like kind of how I got my basics and foundation in like anatomy or at least like it helped improve my basics on those things because like most of my extracurricular activities I showed up only a handful of times and then dropped it completely and and kind of just learned it by myself um so I started off actually making comics. My first like really serious art project is my comic called Amber Hills, which the characters might seem familiar to you in Wild Word because I just have like um, a set of OCs that I use for everything. That's just, and it deepens their lore that way. And I just enjoy uh, writing them and interpreting them in different ways. So, yeah, <laughs> I do have a comic. I have made comics before. Uh, nothing as serious as a YouTube channel though, or nothing as big or successful, but it's there. <laughs> Next question is, what would your art taste like? This is a very interesting question and one that requires much consideration. So, um... I don't know. I feel like my art is always in a state of flux. I can't really seem to find like a consistent art style I'm happy with or I am happy with a certain style and then I lose it and I I, I can't do it again, which is sad. I Ideally, I'd like to have my art taste like vanilla raspberry cream, but it just tastes like bland vanilla at the moment that's how i feel <laughs> okay next question what types of videos do you enjoy making most which ones do you enjoy least i i enjoy making all my videos like i wouldn't make them if i didn't enjoy them though i will say that i do have least favorite parts of the video making process and favorite parts of the video making process um so I least enjoy I guess uh, I started like I said I started doing commentary videos so I would say that I enjoyed making commentary videos least because I stopped doing them <laughs> and which ones do you uh, enjoy most um, these videos I I get scared of being on camera but it's fun to watch watch it back and edit it together um, because I just enjoy editing 
but yeah i enjoy making these videos because it's so much easier than doing like a full illustration speed draw and writing a script of narration on top of it it's much easier to just like turn my camera on and shoot the shot i think my camera caught me off so whatever i said i hope it wasn't important <laughs> so yeah let's move on to the next question shall we how are you today? I'm very sweaty. It's so bright and hot today. It's so hot. And also, I chose a bad day to record this video because on Fridays, we have like um, Friday prayers. So uh, the speakers on like all the moss in my surrounding areas are just blaring. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't uh, pick up on the mic. Okay. How do you write enough script to talk for half an hour? My videos never reach 20 minutes, lol. Um, I just, I go on a lot of tangents and I have a lot of thoughts. I usually write uh, videos on topics I'm really interested about or, or topics that I already have a lot to say about. So it's really easy for me to just info dump <laughs> in my scripts. Um, it's, it's not really uh, hard. I don't know, I've never struggled with it. I just dislike the script writing process because it's so boring and tedious and it's a lot easier to just spontaneously say stuff like this. But you know, it's more organized if you do a script, <laughs> especially if you're not used to like public speaking. And it's not like I'm used to public speaking, but I've been forced into doing it because I grew up in an Asian household and you're expected to do so much. <laughs> competitions and public speaking was one of them for me anyway uh just write on a topic you have a lot of interest in um and go on tangents about how you feel or any interesting facts you happen to find out about it in in the video you'll, you'll get there i'm used to writing long posts because i did a lot of forum role play in my younger days <laughs> So it just takes practice, I think, and, you know, looking at how comprehensive your script is, or, you know, it also depends. Maybe a video doesn't need to be th half an hour, maybe like 10 minutes is enough. Some people prefer that. It's, it's really up to you and your unique style as a creator. Next question, so what comes next? Obviously the next play button, but before that, what are the smaller steps slash achievements first? Hmm, this is tough. Uh, I definitely want to like continue doing Wild Word. I want to make that into like a serious series on my channel. I want to keep improving my drawing, my storytelling, and my singing. Ooh, I'd like to do more song covers and I'd like to write and release my own song one day. I think that's like the next step that I want to do. Um, and hmm, I guess. Uh, I'll be going to VidCon more regularly, um, maybe doing like a, an in-person meet and greet at VidCon, that, that would be fun, not like an actual meet and greet, but like, like just meeting up somewhere and saying hi and taking pictures, I think that would be fun. But yeah, that's all I can think of off the top of my head right now. Hi, congrats on the button, you're doing wonderful as a channel and an artist. I was always curious, when did you begin drawing? Also, is it easier for you to draw men or women bodies? A very good question. Um, so, I think my first attempts, well obviously I've, I've been drawing since elementary school, but it was nothing like serious, just like usual like kid drawing stuff. But I remember my friends were really into like manga, and so they were like drawing these really like impressive characters to me, and I really wanted to be able to draw like that too. So I started drawing to impress my friends, and then uh, after that I tried um, like making OCs. My first OC was actually a Sonic OC, big surprise. And um, I started doing digital when I was like 10 on like MS Paint. And um, after that, I just, I kept going. So I guess I, I started drawing since I was like six and now I'm 24. Yeah, 24. So it's been... Uh, 
at uh, what's 24 minus 6? It's been 18 years. Almost, a, whoa, almost two decades. That's kind of crazy. It takes a long time to develop art, guys. If if you're like just starting to draw and you're like getting frustrated about not making enough progress or anything like that, don't stress. It takes a lot, most artists, at least 10 years to get remotely where they want in their art journey so you know just enjoy the process and don't give up it's one of those things where you only fail if you stop doing it so that isn't to say you should just like keep burning money on oil paints or like art supplies you know just work with what you have you don't need like really fancy expensive tools to make good art you just need to learn the foundations first and as for the question of is it easier for me to draw men or women? Women for sure, just because I've been drawing them um, a lot more than guys. I, I just have more fun drawing girls because you put them in like a lot of different outfits. You can put give them like a lot of different like, cute hairstyles. Whereas guys for me have always been like kind of limiting because they're not as curvy and fluid and fun as girls. And there's only so many like guy hairstyles as a kid that you could think of if you're not a guy <laughs> yourself, I guess. I don't know, guys are just boring for me to draw. <laughs> and I'm, it's, it's kind of bitten me in the butt a little bit now because I have to play catch up. Not that I'm really that good at drawing girls either, so <laughs> what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Will you be making any more redesigns of MLB or other projects? I don't know, I'm kind of done with MLB. It's... I, I had fun watching the movie, but I don't think I would ever return to the franchise, especially the series. And I don't care enough about any of the characters to be like, hmm, I can fix that person. Or like, hmm, how do I make this better for no thanks at all? From a show, at least. I don't know. Is that selfish for me <laughs> to say that, oh, I don't want to do this because it doesn't bring me joy? <laughs> Other projects, I did have my like Wings Club and Monster High series that I kind of just forgot about. But I am working on a video right now for Baldur's Gate 3 because that's my current interest at the moment. So uh, keep an eye out for that. You still plan to continue Wildward. Also, I love your art style. What's the secret? Yes, Wildward is definitely the only project that I can say for 100% I am continuing and I will be developing further if I can allocate the budget for it. So, you subscribe, watch my videos, help me make ad revenue, <laughs> and check out my sponsors so I get more sponsors so I can work on Wildward. Um, what's the secret for my art style? I don't know. I feel like it's it's really what I find appealing personally and I can't transpose you into my brain of what I find appealing. It's just... Uh, I like very expressive eyes and I like making different... I always have just more emphasis on the faces and the head area, I guess. The bodies are kind of standard and... Maybe if you really want to replicate my art style, the key is like uh, the the hair shading at the moment. I feel like that's the only consistent thing I have going on with my art. Everything else is kind of up in the air. <laughs> I guess just look at my art and I, I, that that's something I should be asking you guys. What do you think is distinct about my art style? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite fandoms? Hmm. At the moment, I don't know if I've ever really like been a part a part of a fandom, and the the fandoms that I have been like a serious part of have been like really toxic and you know not good, not to me specifically, but just in general to other people. <laughs> um. So at the moment, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say Legend of Zelda for all the Zelda X Link content. We should talk more. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't really open my inbox for people that I don't know personally or like have never spoken to before or have no idea about. So um, 
probably not if I don't know you, but if we have spoken before and you are um, in my Discord friend list, then yeah, just send me a message. <laughs> Something about me is that I'm very bad at initiating conversation. I kind of just have people that I think are friends and then never talk to them. <laughs> so that's a fun fact about me. What is your favorite cardigan? This is a great question and I'll be right back to grab it. Okay, so just stay put. Stay put guys, don't go anywhere. Here she is. It's like a, it's a knit cardigan in dusty rose from cotton on this was like um it was a sweater that i bought while i was studying in australia and it was way out of my budget at the time but when i saw it i fell completely in love i knew i had to have it but I was also a broke college student and I couldn't afford it. So my friend, one of my, like someone that I would consider a very good friend of mine actually bought it for me because this was the last one in my size and they had it only on the mannequin and, and nothing else. My camera died, but luckily I had a spare battery. So as I was saying, this, this is like, it has a lot of sentimental value and it's also really comfortable and warm and I love it to bits. And okay, I'll wear it now. I'll wear it now. So yeah, this, this is it. This was actually the, the, the cardigan that inspired my original avatar look. If you guys remember it, or if you were around long enough to have seen it. But yeah, since you're a nurse, have you ever delivered a baby? That is a good question. And the answer is yes, but not the natural way. One of my nursing placements was in perioperative. So, I was actually like placed in theater and we did a lot of um, C-sections. So technically I birthed several babies through C-section, but never natural. And I don't know if I'd be able to have the stomach to witness a natural birth. I feel like I should, cause I've literally seen um, ortho doctors just going to town on uh, some, some old guy's knee like it's, a workshop like a a, a carp carpentry w woodwork shop i i don't i can't english okay it's it's my second language B back off haters <laughs> i don't have haters actually my comments have always been really nice and i'm really appreciative for that what kind of resources do you do you recommend to improve in art i'm a beginner artist and i struggle with learning how to learn basics Love what you do. Thank you. Um, resources for improving art. There's so many free resources that you can just find on YouTube. Um, Draw with Jazza is a really good channel I recommend for like learning art. If you want to develop like a more distinct style, you can check out Lavender Town. She has a lot of good art tips as well. Um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> would not recommend Sam does art. Is that controversial? Um, I don't know. He has pretty good uh, tips in terms of lighting and shading. But yeah, um, I would recommend just looking up any art video, how-to video on YouTube. It's it's really straightforward and e easy to follow. And it, if you're a visual learner, it also helps a lot to watch the process happen. If you were akumatized, what would your villain theme and power be? Probably like some sort of uh, like evil sea creature that's also like a, a, a medic. So I have like tentacles, but also a giant syringe weapon that, that terrifies people with fear of needles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's either, but it's either gonna be the bobblehead nurse from Silent Hill or Cala Maria from Cuphead, I guess. Your celeb crush. I had the biggest crush on Tom Holland 
But then he started dating Zendaya, and I was like, oh, well, I guess he's not gonna date me. <laughs> Am I delusional? I feel like I'm delusional. So I stopped liking him. <laughs> ah, at the moment, I don't have a celebrity crush, though. It's really hard for me to form crushes. Uh, I used to form crushes very easily as a child, but as I get older, it's like, I kind of like being alone. <laughs> Is that sad? Or am I just airways? Mm, I don't know yet. Is water wet? This is a great question. And um, there's probably people more qualified than me to answer this, but my take on it is that the state of wet is that you are covered in H2O particles. Like you have h2o particles on you and that state is called wet so technically water itself is not wet but if water is on something then it is wet you know it's like hmm i guess you could apply it to say like oh are are clothes warm clothes themselves are not warm but if you wear clothes then you are warm you know like i am right now extremely warm too warm but i'm i'm going to keep my cardigan on because i love it what gave you your calamari concept it's actually a play on words a little bit so it's it's like a it's a combination of like my first name and my middle name which i'm not going to say but some of you might know what it is already anyway so it's it's a combination of my first name and middle name and it sounds like calamari and so it just became like my own personal joke it started off on my tumblr where i'm like my tagline is no it's not calamari because it sounds really similar to calamari calamara calamari and then i don't know i decided to just lean into it anyway and and created like the water concept which ended up fitting a lot more with my life experiences and preferences so that was just like a, a happy coincidence i guess um but yeah if you want to create like a meaningful concept is to just draw on the themes that mean a lot to you and you can't go wrong i i think your favorite hobby uh drawing <laughs> Is that on the nose? No, my hobby recently is playing Baldur's Gate 3. That's my favorite hobby right now. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else plays Baldur's Gate 3. Not like I'd be doing multiplayer with you anyway. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, like it's just nothing personal, okay? I'm not trying to be mean. It's just all my friends have who play Baldur's Gate 3 have been like, let's do multiplayer on Baldur's Gate 3. And I've been like, yeah! And then I never do it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So I've got a few questions. How does it feel to be an icon? I'll answer them as I go. First question. I don't feel like I'm an icon. I don't know. I just feel like a, a regular average person who enjoys their line of work. And is glad that they don't need to find a 9 to 5. <laughs> What did you think of the MLB movie? I made a whole video about that. That friggin' on entertainment publisher of the movie just wrongfully copyright struck because I used a few clips from their movie. They just strike the whole thing, including my speed draws and my very bad Marinette cosplay. And I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy with them. And I won't be viewing your movie anymore on entertainment. <laughs> Will there be magical boys in Wild World? Yes. Yes. Oh, and that was the last question. <laughs> Which means I get to show you guys the other box that I'm gonna unbox today. So do you guys remember the company that helped me make those adorable enamel pins of my characters from Wild World? Well, they're now expanding their products to custom neon signs with a brand new website. NeonSigns.com is a website owned by the brand BPS. They offer free shipping to the US, UK, Canada, Australia, while giving you free designs and artworks to use for your custom neon signs. 
With neonscience.com, you get factory direct price, which means that there's no pesky distributor costs, which can usually exponentially increase the price of products like these. It's a one-stop service, meaning you will get everything done on this website from designing your custom neon sign, production, all the way to delivery. And if you buy a neon sign from them, you get 50% off. Their neon signs can be used for businesses, outdoors, weddings, bars, or just in your house to decorate your office like myself. On their website, they have a lot of different templates to help you get an idea or inspire you on where to start. And in these templates, you can choose your colors, special notes, size, whether they'll be indoor or outdoors. You can even choose the power adapter and the cut of the backboard. Plus, you even get a remote and dimmer to control your neon signs remotely. Before they deliver the products to you, they will email you with a mock-up of what your final design will look like. And from there, you can change the design or make any adjustments as much as you want until you have your perfect design. And after that, they'll ship it to you for free. Check out the link in my description. Thank you so much NeonScience.com and BPS for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the pond for a while. I hope your skin didn't get too pruney. Big shout out to my lovely pond dwellers on Patreon. If you want to become a pond dweller and get early access to my content, join my Patreon. If you want to see more from me, then please follow me on all my social media. If you want to submit fan art like these awesome guys that submitted fan art to me, then join my Discord server. And if you want more of my stories, check out my Wild Word series here on YouTube because that will make me really happy. All the links are in my description and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!